All right, guys, so check it out. You guys are gonna follow me. We're gonna be working on hypertrophy, but also increasing athleticism. Gonna merge the gap here, All right? It's a new program I'm looking about doing. I'm gonna go ahead, show you guys the first part of it. Follow along, we're gonna build some muscle. We're gonna stay athletic. We're gonna increase our strength. We're gonna increase our ability to be functional. Let's get after it. All right guys, so I just went through some basic warm-ups for mobility, stability, and just range of motion, right? Warming up my body. Remember, tissue temperature, activation, range of motion, that's gonna be key when you're talking about a warm-up or getting your body ready for the work ahead. So for me, today is a full body workout. We're gonna do three to four days a week. So we're gonna do full body each of those days, but the specific focus is gonna be depicted upon either lower body, a push and a pull. But you're also gonna do full body throughout that day. And what I mean by that is, today is gonna be a lower body focus, but we're also gonna do a push and a pull afterwards. So we're still gonna be working all ranges of motion. We're gonna be still working on you know, the body as an entirety from a global standpoint, but we're gonna be focusing on the regional part of the body depending upon what day it is. So today, lower body focus with accessories for push and pull as well. Let's get after it. I just finished my base support and some low level plow metrics. Now we're gonna work our way into some med ball variations for rotational explosive power um, and just upper body power too as well. So here we go. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and feel this out. This is the first time I box squatted since my injury. So I'm gonna work my way up to a heavy set of five, relative heavy for the knee. Uh, make sure that I'm maintaining that, that stability there in my trunk. Also getting hip dexterity. So I'm sitting my butt back. I'm getting that external rotation on the femurs. And then I'm also getting down into the box, unhinging and then rehinging, coming back up, pulling with my hamstrings and locking out with my glutes. So right here we have 250. I'm probably gonna go up to three plates. I'm gonna see how that feels. We're gonna do a five sets of five because we're trying to build strength and a little bit of hypertrophy with this main lift. Then we'll move our way on to some accessories, some supplementals for the legs and the upper body. guys so did the box squat we hit the supplemental lift primarily right there I just want to work unilateral because I do want to get more gait training in now I'm gonna go into another hamstring and glute dominant exercise so we're gonna go ahead and get some hip extension and knee flexion so we're gonna go with the GHR and then I'm gonna work my way into some push and pull movements we're only gonna do one push movement and one pull movement and then we'll do uh, some core and call it a day let's do it All right guys, so moving on to a press variation. As you can see, I got the roller here. I'm basically what the roller is doing for me is it's stabilizing my pelvis. So I'm not moving through my pelvis. 
I'm not moving, you know, anywhere in my hips. The goal is to get lateral expansion and compression. So as I'm coming down, I'm compressing and expanding. I'm also obviously getting a vertical press variation in there too as well. I'm getting external rotation of the shoulder, going into internal rotation. So we got internal to external. Again, gait training a little bit because we're working on reciprocation. We're working on expansion and compression strategies. And then also I'm getting a press variation. So I am building up hypertrophy because of the fact that the volume is there, the tempo is there, but we're also working in a functional pattern, right? In a functional movement um, that's regional to the body. Obviously I'm not working full body, but it is gonna be functional breaking up into quadrants. We're gonna go ahead and finish this off and then I'll go into some rotation and some uh, row variations too as well. All right guys, so we did a vertical press. Now we're onto a horizontal pull. Um, now I'm doing a chest supported row. So it's double arm here, you know, both arms same time. The goal, as you come down, I want a big inhalation. So we're getting posterior expansion. We're actually driving the scaps away from each other. And then I'm gonna go ahead and exhale, driving my scaps together, squeezing my upper back and also making sure that I'm keeping a tight grip on the dumbbells. Full range of motion, full squeeze, and then a slower eccentric. Again, the tempo is going to help with hypertrophy. The volume, the overall per volume per rep is gonna be important too as well. You wanna stick around eight to 12 reps, somewhere around an RPE eight to nine. And again, if you wanna go ahead and get an, uh, a burnout set at the end or the last set, go ahead and do an RPE 10, but I'm just gonna keep you conservative here because I'm gonna go ahead and do some other row and vertical row variation or vertical pull down variation in two days. So again, every other day, I'm gonna be doing some type of row, some type of press, and some type of lower body movement. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know that I never give out a program unless I've actually done it. This is gonna be my brand new program. It's going to drop pretty soon. So it's primarily gonna be working on a hybrid approach. So we're actually being working on strength, power, explosiveness, hypertrophy, functionality of training in general, making sure that you have great function from a gait perspective, movement quality, structural integrity, but also you're gonna be looking good too as well because you're gonna be gaining some size and burning some body fat. Again, I wanna keep on going with this. I'm gonna be doing this for about two months and then we're gonna go ahead, drop the program after that. So be on the lookout for it and you'll find out more details, all right? If you wanna learn more of what I do here as a coach, if you wanna learn more about my methods, my programs, my protocols, the systems, the strategies that I use to implement with my athletes, go ahead, check out my online mentorship course or you can check out any of my programs too. That's online, derushon.com or link is in the description and uh, make sure you subscribe notification hit the like button if you want to see me train more go ahead and let me know hit the comments down below and i'll see you again next time peace